Hi, welcome back for another quick Etsy tutorial. In today's video I will be talking about a new technique that you can use to write your Etsy titles and Etsy descriptions very fast and very efficiently. As we all know, titles, descriptions and tags are the most important things that you have to use. After that, of course, you need another component, the listing image itself, to attract that first click from your buyer. But to rank on the first or second page, it is very important that you have the best possible titles and the best possible descriptions based on well-researched keywords. What I do when I'm searching for a new digital product idea but this can be, of course, applied to physical products and print-on-demand products as well. This technique is universal for every kind of Etsy seller. What I do first is that I use a Chrome extension called Everbee. I use this to find products that have really good potential and that are selling well at the moment. After that, I created the product that I want to sell in that category or in that niche. And when it comes time to list them, I recently found another Chrome extension that will help you a lot. And it is called Etsy GPT and it will help you to generate Etsy descriptions and Etsy titles based on the keywords that you select. I'm going to show it to you just in a second how it works. But for this Chrome extension, you will need a ChatGPT account. And you do not need the ChatGPT 4 that is a paid... Uh, version of ChatGPT, the basic free account will do because that's enough to generate these high-performing descriptions and titles. With all that said, let's hop over to my computer and I will show you how this Chrome extension works. To show you how this Chrome extension works, I am going to work with some products from the wedding niche. Weddings are a thing of the summer and because we are at the beginning of the second quarter, wedding stuff will be more and more popular in the upcoming months. So that's why I chose this niche to show you how this Chrome extension works. First, what we have to do is to go and type into Google GPT for Etsy and find this Chrome extension. I already have it installed on my computer. As you can see, here it is. All you have to do is to add this extension to your web browser, to Chrome, and then you will be set to go. Now we have to go over to Etsy and I will show you how this works. As you can see, I just typed in wedding planner. Of course, this includes physical and digital wedding planners as well. As you can see, here is the most loved section. These are popular at the moment. And here are some wedding planners that were picked by Etsy. These are physical products that will be shipped. But what I will show this uh, extension on are these. I will select a few that have the bestseller badge. This is an Excel template. I want to select different ones. And this is a digital planner. These two will do because most people, when it comes to digital uh, wedding planning, will use either Excel or a digital planner of some kind. Okay, this is the all-in-one wedding planner within an Excel and it is very popular at the moment. Let's see approximately how much money it makes. This is the Everbee Chrome extension and as you can see it shows us that in the last month it made approximately $1,000 just this one Excel template. And here are the keywords that they use. We will see the keywords with the GPT extension as well. But here we can see the actual profitability of this product. And making just $1,000 a month before even wedding season starts, it is a really good thing. Okay, this one makes that much. And this other one, this is a digital planner. I just clicked on Everbee to see how much this uh, product approximately generated in the last 30 days. And it made about $200, but I don't know why is this listing image different than the one that I see there. But anyways, the visibility score is great and it made some money. This is just for demonstrative purposes. You can do your own research with Everbee and then use the GPT extension to write your descriptions and titles. Okay, at this point, let's say that you have your product ready and you are in the listing process. Now you researched your keywords with Everbee and you know what kind of volumes to expect and what kind of potential your niche has. And now it's time to write the description and the title. You already have your images and everything uploaded to Etsy already. Now it is just time to add the other details. Now we are going to click on this GPT extension right here. And now it says that we need to log in into our chat GPT account. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you will need at least the free version of chat GPT to do this. Now I'm going to click on log in into OpenAI and I'm going to log into my chat GPT account. And now that I'm logged in, this is the screen that I get. I'm going to walk you through each section and I will show you how these work. 
So the first one is the title generator and then here we have the description generator. First I'm going to go through the title generator with you and here you can see the title of this listing. And here we have to put in the main keyword that we want to target. In this case I am going to type in digital wedding planner. Now I will not hit enter yet because I want to see what kind of keywords are here and I am going to pick a few of these to include in my title. These boxes might look familiar especially if you used Etsy rank before. This is the format of the volumes in Etsy rank as well. But let's see what do they have. They have wedding digital and this is the first part of the wedding digital planner that I entered in there. So I will not edit for now because the competition is really high on this one as you can see. Wedding, the views are kind of low just for the keyword wedding, but there are lots of favorites, but again, a very big competition. Wedding checklist is a good one. I will put that in. Wedding in it, cherry. Now let's find a few that has green all over the place. And I can see that here with the wedding timeline and the mobile wedding. So I added those there and they appeared right here. If you would like to type in anything manually, you can do that here. In this case, I'm going to type in Good Notes Planner or Good Notes Wedding. If you don't know, Good Notes is an annotation app. It is like Notability or the Android tablets have these kinds of annotation apps as well. It is used for digital planning. So now that we have our keywords and everything ready, I'm going to hit the title generator. The extension is working at the moment. And voila, here we have three title options. And if you do not like any of these, or you can maybe combine them, but if you do not like any of these, just hit title generator again and you will get three completely new titles. I would not use any of these as they are. I would take a part of the first one, maybe a part of the second one and the third one, and I would create a title that is very keyword oriented and it is very keyword heavy, especially at the beginning of the title. But this is a really good thing to see the search volumes and the potential of this extension. My favorite part of this extension is the description generator. It works on the same basis as the title generator, but it has a few extras. I'm going to put in the keywords again, digital wedding planner, and I'm going to add the keywords from here with this pick option. Okay, now that I have the keywords selected, let's scroll down. And here you can see a few more options. You can refer to the product title. You can toggle that little button on and uh, that way you will turn that option on. I like to do this. Then the next one is to refer to highlights and details. I do not turn this on usually, but you can try and see what kind of results will you get. Then refer to current description and then split into paragraphs. Split into paragraphs is a must in my opinion and you should have that one turned on. When it comes to experimenting, you can try to turn on the refer to this description and then generate another one that does not refer to this product's description. And here again, you will get three description options. Just hit the description generator and you will get those in a few minutes. Well, I would say a few seconds. After a few seconds, the descriptions are ready. Of course, you have to read through these. And what I usually do, I remove these kinds of headlines. These were the tags from the prompt generator and you are ready to copy paste these into your Etsy description. Of course, there should be a standard part of each of your listing description that has the disclaimers that this is a digital product, that nothing will be shipped to their doors and so on. That is basic because some people still confuse digital products with physical ones. You can read through all three of these and select the one that is best for your product and what fits your personality and your style the best. This is the newest element in my Etsy toolbox and I plan to use it in the future and I plan to use it a lot to be honest and I highly encourage you to try it out you only need a ChatGPT account for it and you can use it for free to improve your titles and your descriptions. That was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and all things related to Etsy. And if you are on this note, follow me on Instagram as well. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!